Today, I'm doing storylines here on MLB The Show 24, and I'm going to be doing the Derek Jeter storyline. As always, if y'all enjoy the videos, feel free to subscribe. We daily upload here on the channel. This is going to be episode number four. I'm pretty sure of my No Money Spent series, you get some stubs, XP, even some diamond players, classic stadiums, uniforms, things like that from this Derek Jeter storyline. So let's just go ahead, hop right in. I'm going to try not to talk New over York. if they're... I don't know if you can describe it. I think you just have to experience it. I love the fans the most. They're very knowledgeable about the game. They have high expectations and they hold you accountable. The greatest fans in the world. Yankee Stadium, the house that Babe Ruth built. My grandmother was a huge Yankee fan. The Yankees were my favorite team, and I always wanted to be a shortstop because my dad was a shortstop. So as far back as my mind allows me to go, that's how long I wanted to play baseball. Yankee select Derek Jeter. You know, you put the pinstripes on for the first time, and you're taking the field as a member of the New York Yankees. And this is what you work for. All eyes are on you. It's like I was living a dream. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Derek. I mean, the presentation, the production value is really good so far. Everything looks great. We're going down into the subway. We have 95, 96, 98, 99, and 2000. And then they're gonna add the rest of his career, I believe, later on. It looks like probably 01, 03, 04, 06, 09, 11, and 14. That's coming soon. Not available today. So I think we're just gonna try to go through these first one, two, three, four, five years that they have for us. We gotta watch, learn, and complete years 95 through 2000 to receive the Derek Jeter captain card. And I think we get some other cards along the way. We might as well start at the beginning. Might as well start at 95. And the first one we have here, I think this is going to be a moment. We have Welcome to the Show. I don't know exactly where I should have the cam for this. I think we're going to probably just maybe put it right here for now. May 30th, 1995, a 20-year-old rookie begins his Hall of Fame career and achieves the first of many milestones. Collect one hit in one game. Swiping that subway pass. 1995. When I first got the call in 1995 that I was getting promoted to the major leagues, I thought for sure I was getting traded. My name was circulating a lot of trade rumors, and I got a call probably at 5.30 in the morning from my manager at the time, and he is asking me if I was awake, and I was like, no, I'm not awake. And he said, well, splash some water on your face and come to your room. And he came to my room, and he told me I had been promoted to New York, and I was on a flight to Seattle in a couple hours That's got to be such a crazy feeling. Going to play in the King Dome, never played in the Dome before. Just, you know, having a moment where you say, look, I've, I've made it. I've finally been called up to the major league. So it's definitely a moment that I will never, never forget. How long did he spend in the minors? Second for one. Jeter the I really have no idea. Wow. You know, I was 0 for 5 the night before. You start thinking about whether or not you're going to be sent back down to the minor leagues. You're putting a lot of pressure on yourself. Here's the kid, Derek Jeter, hunting for his first major league hit. And, sends a and nice there it is. Lap. Tino Martinez was the first baseman. And he was, became a teammate of mine the following year and one of my good friends. And when I was going back to the first, he said, congratulations, just the first of many. I wasn't even alive when this was, was happening. no celebration. That's crazy to think about. I mean, I, I think I smiled for a second. You make it to the major leagues, you're just trying to stay there. So you really don't have much time to celebrate. Diving, stop it, short Derek Jeter. I was still a little sperm cell or whatever. I'm really liking the production value of this. It seems like a lot of time and effort went into everything so far for the storyline. Welcome to the show. Tally one hit using Derek Jeter. And I have commentary turned on. I normally turn it off, but I turned it on for storylines just to see if they would have any. Okay, yeah, they do. So let's try to get our first base hit with Jeter here in the kingdom. And I'm pretty sure we unlock the kingdom through storylines too. I think I don't know if maybe we get it from this moment or what. That's we hit it perfectly. 
And it's gone! Okay. That's a great way to start this storyline. I'll take that for sure. And I'm liking this. We saw this on the feature premiere. This special after screen just for Jeter's storyline. This kind of subway screen style. We get some stubs, some XP. Our next stop is in just five seconds. And I think I made it last a little bit shorter than that. And now we're on, I guess, to the next moment. I think they have like a little subway map that we go through. And we'll just have to wait and see exactly what it shows us here next. We see kind of the subway walls, some graffiti, posters. And this was something I was hoping was going to be in Road to the Show. I don't think it is. But Derek Jeter walking through the locker room clubhouse to the field entrance. We got to get one extra base hit playing here in New York. First time seeing him in the Yankees uniform. And the storyline, the older Yankee Stadium too. No, I think we missed it. I hope the fielder just doesn't catch it. Maybe? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got the extra base hit. We got that one done. And apparently, I'm pretty sure they said you can skip moments if you get stuck on them. I think they said you can skip moments. I wonder if you could just skip the moments and like unlock the cards super fast. I would imagine you wouldn't get those stubs, those XP, but would you still be getting the cards? I don't know. Late in the season, 1995, really hadn't played since I got called back up. The Yankees hadn't been in the postseason since 81, I believe. It was the first year of the wild card, and we were in it. Bernie Williams missed a flight coming back from Puerto Rico, and I think they were pretty much stuck with me playing. Whoa, I did not know that. Starting a very important ball game. Wait, he missed a flight coming into the playoffs? So I went out there, I, I hit a double. Jeter sends one toward the gap, deep to right. If I heard that right, that's crazy. <laughs> hey, shout out Wisconsin, shout out the Brewers, even though I'm not a Brewers fan. the most of this chance. Bernie returned, I think about the third, fourth inning when he finally got to the park and we were in the middle of a pennant race and quite honestly I don't think he got there the mid -game. players were trusted and rightfully so so as soon as Bernie came they took me out <laughs> I was happy to be able to contribute at least one at bat during that's that sick that he got a double in that AB so tally one hit one RBI uh, I think they said wait this wasn't 1981 bro I'm tripping so hard right now unexpected uh I think that's a promotion what is this called? Unexpected production, not promotion. We got a tally one hit, one RBI. So literally, we just need a hit, a single or better. One pitch, one swing, one perfect, perfect. And we got this one done too. Nice. We drove in the run. Got a little bit of a stretch going on at first base. We got some more stubs, some more XP. And we unlocked episode four. And I don't know how many episodes there are, like, per year. Next stop is Disappointing End. Ooh. We were battling up until the last day of the season. Pretty much had to win the last game to get to the postseason. And everyone wanted to get there because it would have been Don Manley's first year in the playoffs. Mattingly rips one down the line and deep. A home run for Don His Mattingly. first year in the playoffs and he's doing that to try to get him there? Man, dude, baseball's just, uh, I love baseball. I was not on the playoff roster. I had a chance to stick around so I could see what the atmosphere, the playoff atmosphere was like. That would be the sick, energy, even if you're not on the, the fans, roster. The intensity of the playoff game, I felt like I just had a good seat to watch. I mean, it was great I've been to one right playoff row, game, man, and it's not just, having an it's opportunity something special. To play or not having the chance to play, it was frustrating because you want to help. Dude, I get chills watching play on baseball, man. I love it. You know, the ultimate goal is to win a World Series. When that does not happen, I think you sit down and you have a self-evaluation and you reflect on the season I wonder and how what you can be better and how you can help the team win. I mean, everyone at some point is going to fail and they're going to lose as well. But I think it just motivates you and pushes you into the next season. So, you know, I wanted to prove to myself that I could be on that field and perform and play in the postseason. So the moment is called disappointing end. Imagine it's just you're watching from the dugout and it says, watch from the dugout as the Yankees get eliminated from the postseason. Oh, wait. Oh, we're okay. So we're done with that. So 
this is the subway map and we finished oh that was just the outro literally it's not even a moment it's just it's it's you're just learning about what happened so now we're going on to the next stop outstanding opening day now we're in 96 and it looks like there are one two three four five stops but I, i'm seeing like stars going down under the seven so i want to make sure i pay attention to that i don't want to miss something here but outstanding opening day april 2nd 96 i still wasn't alive yet after being named the starting shortstop for the yankees derek jeter records his first career homer on opening day we got to tally four total bases in one game I remember in 1996, I struggled in spring training. I didn't hit very well. I made a lot of errors, made a lot of mistakes, physical mistakes, mental mistakes. Tony Fernandez was a shortstop before I got there, and he broke his arm with like a couple weeks left in spring training. If he did not break his arm, I felt as though they were going to send me back down to the minor leagues. It was nerve wracking, and I put a lot of pressure on myself to perform, and honestly, I think they were just stuck with me. It worked out, didn't it? First opening day, we actually got snowed out. Oh, I did not know that. On the off day the next day. Derek Jeter batting for the first time. I hope they show you us his homer. Make a good impression. You want to get off to a good start. You want to prove to people that you deserve to be there. More importantly, you want to prove to yourself that you deserve to be there. There it is. He smacked that. The season sort of took off from there. Was that the same game? I felt as though it was very important for me, especially looking back now, that I got off to a good start. Even though it was just one game, that adds to your confidence. Oh, 100%. It's crazy what confidence can do for you. Not in just baseball, but a lot of aspects of life. And here we are, opening day. Tally four total bases. There's a flyover here at Cleveland. And let's just try maybe to get a homer. That'd be a great way to do it. There's a perfect, perfect first AB this time. I might as well try and stretch it to a double. It's going to be close. That should be two total bases. And I'm still noticing the CPU throwing a ton of balls. That was a full count there. I think one, if not both of my strikes were me chasing pitches out of the zone. There's me chasing another pitch, but we did get a total base. And I'm going to try something. This might be stupid. Now I'm going to press R2. Oh, oh fooled him. I didn't fool him, but we just need one more total base. All we need is one hit, and we got it done. How hard could one total base be? It really couldn't be that hard, right? Top of the seventh, we might get another at-bat after this one, even if we don't. But I think we're just going to get it done right here. That might not be good. Please, Lord, give me one more AB, I'm begging. Top of the seventh, top of the ninth. Yep, we get it done here. Calling my shot. Derek Jeter is going to get at least one total base. Twin gaming guarantee right now. There it is. Right down the line. If we got a perfect perfect, I think that would have been out. It, we would have been failed. But we did not fail. We were successful. Outstanding opening day. We got 50 stubs. 150 XP. That's crazy. I'm glad I didn't skip it. Next stop is Rivalry Game Walk-Off. Okay. And then I think we saw, like, the extra stuff under Stop 7. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything right there. Uh, I would assume it would just, like, lead me in. Like, it's kind of just taking me from stop to stop. I would assume it would lead me to whatever we need to go towards. But we have Rivalry Game Walk-Off. Tally one hit. It looks like the bases are loaded. Bottom of the 10th. If we get a hit, we get the moment done. There it is. There it is. We got it done. First pitch we see. And we smoked it so hard that he couldn't make the play. Rivalry game walk-off. Tally one hits. Episode 7 unlocked. Next stop, a little help question mark. Back to the station. Ooh. Another cutscene. When I'm up in a big situation my mind would always go back to a successful time in my career, whether it was in Little League or it was in the minor leagues or the major leagues. Yo, that's a good mindset. I had fun, and I tried to enjoy the moment, and I always thought I was going to be successful. Now, I would fail a lot, but my mind just went to the times I had success. I'm going to start doing that when I play the show. ALCS game playoffs. 
the fans were hungry. We were the talk of the town. The Wait, we're in the playoffs again. That was quick. Including the bases loaded in the seventh. Going back to the track, to the wall. Bob Costas. No matter how you look at it, it was a home run. Right? There's nothing <laughs> you can say about it. And what happens here? Oh, I love that. It's a home run. Jeter comes across to tie the game. Tony Tarasco actually played for us, and I told Tony, you should have jumped. Yeah, that was a home he run. Jump. He wasn't going to catch it anyway. People made a big deal out of it. Obviously, I, I understand it now, but we would have beat Baltimore anyway. You know, that just tied it. Bernie actually won the game later on. Shout out Bernie Williams. And here's a drive to left. It's mighty high. It's one of those moments that, you know, in order to win a World Series, you have to have a good team, you have to have a great team, but you also need breaks. And can't say we got all the breaks. We earned our breaks. Just one of those moments that worked out for us. I'm enjoying this, man. This is cool. The production's great. They clearly spent a lot of time and effort on this. So Orioles versus Yankees, 96 ALCS game one. I don't think I was alive yet, even for this. I, no, I definitely wasn't. I, I know I wasn't, but what do we have to do here? Derek Jeter's up to bats. We need to hit one homer. Ooh. I don't know if we'll get this one done on the first try. This one might take a couple attempts to get a homer. I might even power swing and see what happens. I'm probably going to wait for the CPU to throw me a pitch in the strike zone. So far, he's not doing it, though. 2-0. I think we could expect something kind of down the middle here. Wait. I'm pretty sure that was going to be a ground ball. Does the game, no matter what, make you hit a homer? I love that they added this. And I wish stuff like this could happen. I wish you could do something like that. Argue with the umps and road to the show. But I'm pretty sure that was going to be a ground ball. <laughs> hey, I'll take it. That's cool. I was not expecting that. I, I really wish they had like little things like that in other modes. I want to be able to argue in road to the show. I want to be able to like become a villain in road to the show too. My next stop, World Series debut, back to station. Welcome to... World Series, game one, October 20th. I remember when we played Atlanta in the World Series. All I knew about the Braves was watching them on television when I was younger. The moment I really realized that it was the World Series is when Mr. Torrey came in to our meeting. And he said, this team's going to be better than any team you've played this year. And this was before interleague play, so we never played the Braves. Oh, that's true, too. To watch the Braves and the New York Yankees. You're facing Maddox and Glavin and Smoltz and Avery, Fred McGriff, Chipper Jones. I've never been around what these guys. Team. I just watched them and admired them from afar. What's the Morgan Wallen song? 98 team. Braves? Man, that, what a team. The World Series now. Braves versus Yankees, Yankee Stadium, New York, 96, Game 6, Tally 1 hit, 1 RBI. It's titled World Series Debut. I'm guessing there's going to be a runner on base, you know, second or third. Yeah, he's on third base. Are we facing Greg Maddox? In real life, the umpire would have called that a strike. I've seen the footage of Greg Maddox playing. That would have been a strike if, if this were actual real life. Please, get through. <laughs> Nah. Nah. Oh, wait, I got the RBI, though. Oh, and now I just need to get a base hit. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's not a single at-bat moment. This drops. It was it was the win. The win carried that one right there. And there we go. I probably could have had a triple. I should have gone to third. I think I see Chipper Jones right there, too. So we got that moment done. World Series debut. Tally one hit, one RBI. We got some stubs some XP. We unlocked episode nine, the first of five. Are we about to win the World Series? How many did they win in a row? Was it three that they won in a row? 96, 97, 98? I don't know off the top of my head. I was the one that said, if you don't win the World Series, the season's a failure. It's a culmination of a lot of hard work when you win finally in 1996, first time. You go back to playing in Little League, playing in summer ball, playing in high school, all the years in the minor leagues, the success, the failures. You play for that one moment to be the last team on the field. It's pretty special. Pretty special, especially when you have a chance to do it in New York. And the New York That's got to be a great feeling for sure. Champion. Yo, the dude's and riding the horse spot. right below me. The success there, the people show up. They pay attention. They watch. They want to be a part of it. 
So it was experiencing everything for the first time. This is incredible. Once you win, there's no other place you can go. You either win or you fail. So it set the expectation level high, it set the bar high for us. And that's what we always strive to do, was to win a World Series. And I think that started because we were able to win in 1996. I'm enjoying this. I I've said that a few times already, but like, this is entertaining for me. I'm kind of learning stuff or seeing stuff that I didn't necessarily know. Now, it looks like we're on to the next year, the next train, but I want to see what this stuff is. So we can see if you have not done storylines or you've done it, specifically this Jeter one, there's stuff down here. And it looks like this is how you unlock the Andy Pettit card. We go to stop number eight. That's how you unlock the Greg Maddox card. So I'm actually going to do these. There's uh, there's other moments, extra moments from that year. Let me see the let me see the first train. Oh, there's one here too. So I, I completely missed this on, on the first train. So let's start here. Uh, Derek Jeter in 95, he recorded 12 hits, 7 RBIs in 15 games. So maybe I unlocked this just by completing these things. Because I'm trying to click this here. You might be able to hear that. It's not letting me do anything. So what if I go down... Oh, yep. So I, I see what it is now. So that star here just goes with the three. And then I think the star down here, there's probably only two moments. Yeah, so I think I have to do these two moments and then I unlock the Andy Pettit. So let's do this first one. In 96, Andy Pettit pitched two complete games and would throw 24 in his career. Throw three scoreless innings? Core That's a lot. Four. Myself, oh, so there's Posada, Mariano Rivera, and Andy Pettit. There's extra cutscenes in this too. I would imagine people miss this. The core four after we won in 2009, because we were the only four that had won Jorge. championships prior to. When they first saw his name, is is it Andy Petit? And everyone knows his name now, and everyone knows how well he can pitch. I feel like just looking at that, I would never Andy assume it was Petit. Is probably <laughs> one of the nicest human beings you'll ever meet. I consider him a brother. He's someone I've played with since I was 18 years old. He's a big game pitcher. He always seemed to step up when our team needed the most. What a start he is at, striking out the first two batters. He seemed to be the guy that after we would lose a big game, he's the guy's pitching the next day. Now Jones back to Pettit. You want more poise? One, four, three. Nice play. And the Yankees hold on. You had the utmost confidence in him every time he stepped on the mound. You knew the moment wasn't going to overwhelm him. We were all very comfortable with him on the mound in big games. Pitch three innings and don't give up one run. I'm going to be playing here with pinpoint pitching. Uh, I don't know if all of these are going to be on like rookie or veteran difficulty or what, but I'm just going to try to get these three scoreless innings. Sit down, Owen Stanley. Andy Pettit, three scoreless innings. We completed the complete game. Pettit pitches a gem, pitched three innings, allows zero runs. We got 50 stubs, 150 XP. Next up is American League Leader. I'm assuming this is the next step in that Andy Pettit part. I'm assuming it's just sending me into the next one for him. And it looks like after we get these two moments done... We get the Andy Pettit diamond card, and then I think we should be on to that Greg Maddox moment, and it looks like just one moment for him for the gold Maddox card. And we got to pitch two innings without giving up two runs now with Andy Pettit flacing off and against the Blue Jays. We're one strike away from getting this moment done. Imagine he just hits a two-run homer right there. No, we got it done, and I think that means we should get a diamond Andy Pettit. I think it's a core card, which would make sense. It's below a 90. I think that's how it is for core cards. We got 25 stubs, 25 XP. And yeah, it looks like I got Andy Pettit here. Because I, I press on this star and it shows his attributes. I got these two moments done. So I would assume he's going to be in my inventory. If I go into Diamond Dynasty, now we're going to Episode 8. We go down. Oh, I think we already got the Greg Maddox. So I'm tripping. Yeah, there's there's not even a moment for him. We just got the card. But make sure you're doing these. I'm pretty sure you got to do these too if you want to get that Andy Pettit card. Hopefully that helped at least one person watching this video. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully you didn't miss it. But I I'm hoping that I was able to help somebody by, by pointing that out. Because I definitely would have missed that. Now we're on to the next train. 
episode 10 right here the hits keep on coming september 25th 1998 derek jeter records his 200th hit as the yankees march to the postseason we got to get two hits in one game jumped on that one hit deep to right yo he destroyed that wait was that deep in the season for his first as a lefty what made the 1998 team unique was we could so did they did, did, uh, the so i might have we could care less who the hero was i might have misspoke much clinched the division in april i mean it was for the most part it was over with and the New York they might not have won in 97 they might have not East not have gone like back to back to back moving a runner over i have no idea hit a home run you bunt a guy over, it didn't make a difference. Everyone was willing to do it. We checked our egos at the door. You know, just every single day we wanted to beat you. The only thing we cared about was winning. He's got pretty Derek eyes. Jeter rips it inside the line, and he's going to have a standing double. Yep, 200 hit. 200 hits, I mean, it's a couple of things. One, consistency. You have to be consistent day in and day out. And you have to play. You have to True. be available. You can't you take healthy. days off. Home runs fluctuate, RBIs fluctuate, average fluctuates, but you only get a two, three people maybe at most in each league that gets 200 hits. Didn't Ichiro have like 292 hits in one season? Isn't that insane to think about? Is anyone ever going to do that again? I feel like no. Like that, that's just so crazy. I wish we had Ichiro as a legend this year, man. Please, MLB The Show, bring Ichiro back. Please, I'm begging y'all. I will get on my hands and knees if I have to. All right, next moments. Two hits in one game with Derek Jeter. Let's see who we're facing. We're facing the Rays, the Devil Rays. There's one. Ooh, that swing felt good. That sounded good too. All right, so we got one hit out of the way. Let's try to just go get number two and at bat number two. Facing the same pitcher. We've got a two to one lead in this game. I don't think that matters too much. And there it is. Hit it pretty much to the same exact. Did you see that? Did anybody see that? The ball just got stuck on top of the wall. Balls to the wall. That's crazy. So next stop, jump throw. Do I get to make the jump throw? I started oh. working on the jump throw in the minor leagues, just having fun during batting practice. You're telling me he practiced it? I just think it came from years of sort of improvising. The ball's got to be hit the right speed. You got to know the speed of the runner. And you got to have fun when you play. I had fun. So first time people maybe really paid attention to it was when we were playing Cleveland in the playoffs. Hit toward the hole. Jeter Yo, that's the same with MLB The Show. You got to have fun when you play. Like, if you have fun when you play, it makes the game more fun. I didn't think about it. It was just a reaction. What a play. It was How fast was the runner? and quicker for me to just jump as opposed to stopping and trying what, to plan. What would his speed have been in MLB The Show? If you work on something enough and you do it over and over and over again, it just becomes a, a natural play for you. I mean, that There's no the way he would have thrown me out. That's all I'm, I'm saying. I'm a speed demon. In back. I'm really not. It's not as easy as it looks because if you actually, when you take people out to a major league field and you see how far the it, throw is, it's you a far have throw. have momentum on your side. I think the reaction, initial reaction was, when did you start doing that? I mean, this is a beautiful play. I don't know how many shorts. I feel like that dude's gotta be play. slow though too. Right? It's got to be like a combination of, of nice throw, nice play, but you can't tell me that that he would throw me out. I, like, I, I just can't imagine I, I would get thrown out there. I'm way too fast. The crowd's chanting Derek Jeter. It kind of looked like he was yawning for a second. We got to record one assist. And this is probably a fielding moment. Yeah, I have not done something like this because I turned fielding off in a row to the show. I think this is the thing where I have to press buttons. Hey, oh, I got it. We press the button. Now what? Now what? Now what? B, A, B, X, Y. I did it. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, that's kind of, that's kind of intense having to press those that fast. Yo, he just makes it look easy. Also, he got a pretty, he, he got a pretty good amount of distance in the air. That's a high vertical right there. So we jumped the road, we recorded one assist, we unlocked episode 12.
Next stop is the 98 World Series. Let's head back to the station. 50 stubs, 150 XP. We're flying through the XP reward path. Our stub count is just rocketing to the sky. I like that they got World Series patches on jerseys. Tally two hits, tally one RBI. Honestly, I would love a homer, but I think we got the RBI no matter what. So we need two hits, one RBI. We got one hit, one RBI. We just need one more hit. And we got this moment done. There it is. The RC blows. We got the hits. We got this moment done. I'm going to have to check too because I wasn't paying attention to the subway map. I'm going to have to check if there's, you know, those kind of hidden spots on each map where you can unlock the cards and everything. Those kind of Andy Pettit moments that we had. Next stop, this is where we should be. Oh, I love like catcher cams, umpire cams, but like to me, they make me think I could hit major league pitching. As long as my hands are quick, I really think I could at least make contact on some of these. Team to sweep the World Series. Cardinals would never get swept in the World Series. I think it takes a confident team. I think it takes a very, very good team. I think it takes an experienced group. And I think it takes a group that never gives up, True. whether you're behind or not. And the 98 team had all those qualities. Never back down, never what? Into center field, well hit. At the track, at the floor, three-run home run for Scott Man, I miss playing and baseball so, so much. Five, three, oh, I really do. We won a 98. I wouldn't say it's a feeling of relief. It was a feeling of I was alive then. It was a feeling of... This is where we belong. This is where we should be. And then right after that is we have to win again next year. Brocious, fittingly with a throw. The Yankees have done it again. Number 24. They are the That's a lot of World Series. Of in so, so did they win 98, 99, 2000? Pat themselves on the back and talk about what they've accomplished. They think about what's next. Our I swear Jeter won three in a row. The next year. I mean, guys weren't walking around wearing World Series rings into the clubhouse because that didn't mean anything to us anymore. It was now what can On we to do the next, next one. On to the next one. On to the next one. Bro, I love those camera angles. Oh, so we, we got 25 stubs, 25 XP just for watching that. That's cool. All right, so let me go back up. We're on to episode 14, but let me go back up. And it looks like we got... Maybe that's how you get the old Yankee Stadium. Plus, it looks like Paul O'Neill. Wait, yeah, yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure that's it. And now we're on to the 99 train. I think this goes to 2000 is what they have available. But episode 14, 100 RBI season, May 7th, 99. As the Yankees capture another AL East title, Derek Jeter reaches 100 RBI for the first and only time in his career. Telly two RBI in one game. We can see down here. It looks like that's how you get the gold Mariana Rivera. It looks like Chili Davis and an equipment item. So we're going to have to play a couple moments, but... Let's go ahead and start with episode 14 first. And I already forgot what I have to do. I literally For just read it. It's a natural letdown because you've reached your goal. You've reached the peak. You've won the World Series or you won a championship. You sort of get a chance to exhale and relax. I think what made our group special was we never did that. 1999. I feel like the 90s were a good decade. I wasn't alive for most of it, but... 1999 knows it. We have to win the World Series. We have to win back to back, or we've wasted our time. What's the hardest sport to go back to back in? You're talking about 40 man roster. You're talking about 40 people all having that same mindset. It's pretty special, and we had a special group. And the Yankees are gonna win the game. I had 100 RBIs for the first time that year. It's the only time I had 100 RBIs. It falls in for a hit, bounces into the stands for a double. Derek Jeter has his 100th RBI, and for Jeter, it's his first time to the 100 RBI club. We had to win. It's a lot of pressure that we put on ourselves, but we welcomed it. 100 RBI season, I remember now. We got a tally two RBI. RBIs, runs, batted ins. <laughs> oh, wait, but so there's only one on base right here. And if we hit a homer, we get both of them. I'm going to probably power swing. But there's no outs, so a sacrifice fly would get our first one that we need. I'm hoping it would put runners on base for me. Yeah, that's not a homer. I mean, I could try. 
Should we just try for the inside the Parker? Mess up the throw, mess up the throw, mess up the throw! He didn't mess up the throw. Oh, that's gotta go. I'm in the bottom of the eighth inning here. I'm running out of time. Oh, it's, it's not a homer. He scores here. Send him. You better send him. And you better score. 41 speed. Oh, he's in there. <laughs> okay. So bottom of the eighth inning. We got it done. I wasn't sure what was going to happen for us. 100 RBI season complete. 50 more stubs. 150 more XP. I kind of want to know how much stubs and XP we're getting combined like once we finish all of this next stop is postseason power the 99 we made 99 against boston in the postseason so special was up until that point we'd never played in the postseason swung on a bloop to right field and the yankees have tied the game at three a home run and the yankees win over their arch rival red sox that's so Bias, sick i think it's the best rivalry in all the sports it is a great rivalry. I will give him that. Rivera it's one of the best the for sure. Struck him out swinging. Yankees win. We felt as though we couldn't lose. There was a lot of pressure on us that we just can't lose this series. Fenway Park. I've been there I not to a game, I not though. like playing at Fenway Park. You ever strike out? It's the longest walk in Major League Baseball. I bet. Yo, that call. I don't know about that. Jeter and then now he feels like he needs to swing at it. That's what happens, man. I like the atmosphere, but I didn't necessarily like playing at Fenway Park. Jeter pounds one into center field. Back is Lewis at the wall and gone for a two-run home run. To have a big moment against Boston, I think it stands out a little bit more. Not only in my Do mind, it stands out in the minds of the fans as well. Ball game over. American League Championship Series over. Yankees win. Oh! Oh, they don't think they didn't want to win it in Boston. They certainly did. There's two sides of it. You always like to clinch at home so you can do it in front of your home fans. True. But then at the same time, you play in Boston. You love clinching <laughs> True. in Boston. Yeah, that's got to be a good feeling for sure. We got to tally four total bases. So the easiest thing to do would be just to hit a home run. And we'll see what we actually do. Is it a homer? No, that was... You're really not going to run? I, I hit it off the top of the monster, and I get a single? That's got to go. I don't think it's going to go. It went! Hit it to the monster. I've been up to the monster. I didn't get to see a game, though, because we, we went to Boston when the baseball season wasn't going on, or either the Red Sox were out of town. I don't remember which. Still was cool to see the park, but I would have loved to actually see a game there. Next stop, how sweep it is. So did they sweep? I think he already talked about that. They swept the World Series this year. Oh, it's the Braves. The Braves again. The Braves must have been pretty good. Are we're not in? Are we in 98 right now, or is this 99? I think this might be 99. But we were talking about earlier. There's that Morgan Wallen song. I think it's 98 Braves. And yeah, they must have been pretty good though in the late 90s. I don't remember what I had to do for this moment. You're telling me I hit it perfectly, but nothing happened. <laughs> That's crazy. And this is something this, this is something I'm going to say again. You know, I get that there's line outs in baseball. I kind of wish perfect perfects were called squared ups and not perfects. I just don't think that for hitting in baseball, the term perfect, I, I don't think it really goes with baseball hitting. I, I think squared up would make a lot more sense and i think just personally i would feel a little bit better you know if it said squared up instead of perfect right there it would make more sense to my brain if it ended up being an ounce because if i'm doing something perfectly i kind of feel like i should be successful does that make sense because if i wasn't successful then i wouldn't consider it perfect do you all see where i'm coming from for that like where where i think that squared up especially in terms of baseball would you know may, maybe make a little bit more sense we just need one more hit though we got to tally two hits in this moment the fielder didn't react the best and we got it okay i'm glad we got the two hits i didn't want to have to redo that one completed reward incoming wait what does that mean okay so now we have so we, i think we just got yeah, I just completed that. So we just got the Chili Davis. We got that pack. So maybe that's something I'm going to have to open. If there are packs, I'll open them at the end of this video. But now we want to get 
this Mariano Rivera card. So we have two moments it looks like we need to do. The first one, the great Mariano leads MLB September 23rd, 99. Mariano Rivera recorded 45 saves in 1999 to lead all of Major League Baseball, pitched one inning without allowing a hit, walk, or a run. Big night here in New York. Mariano Rivera. Mariano was just always calm. The up right hander Mariano Rivera making his one day after game. my uh, and my mama's Rivera birthday. Has entered the big leagues. Didn't make a difference if it was spring training game, game seven of the World Series. Rivera is set. shout out to my mom. Up off third. Ball game over. Love that he had woman. The same demeanor. Looked like nothing bothered him. You knew what he was gonna throw. He wasn't trying to trick you. He wasn't trying to fool you. Yo, so many broken bats. <laughs> and he's a big reason why we were able to win all those championships. These fans are the best. I remember watching that live. World. I wasn't I there, but like on TV. Me. These fans are number one. I love you guys. Thank you very much. Oops, I didn't mean to hit that. Save one game, do not blow one save. We're one strike away from getting the moment done. I kind of want to try to break his bat. All right, I'll take a swing and a miss. So we got that moment done. I'm pretty sure there's two of them that we got to get done with Mariano Rivera. There's the great Mariano leads MLB. Episode five unlocked, closing the door. I'm guessing that's the next moment we need to do. We need to save one game, do not blow one save. And there's already two outs here. So we literally just need to not let that guy score from third base. I thought we might've done it on that pitch. I kind of missed my spot a little bit. There's already two strikes. Let's try to break his bats, but we just get a swing and a miss on the nasty cutter. Oh, yo, I didn't even pay attention to what inning it was. That was only the eighth inning. There's another strikeout, one out to go. And then we got these Mariano Rivera moments done. I think we get a gold Mariano Rivera card as long as Jeter makes this play and we got it done. Oh, wait, we just won a World Series. Oh, I, I didn't even realize that we were playing for a World Series right there. Love seeing myself pick up Derek Jeter. I was kind of role-playing as Mariano Rivera. Completed, we get our reward. I think that means that we get the Mariano Rivera, that gold 84 overall card. We completed this. We got that Chili Davis. And now we're on to the 2000 train. A brand new decade, it looks like. And I see some more stars later on some extra moments right before the coming soon on the left side but all-star mvp jeter goes three for three at the plate to become the first yankee mvp of the midsummer classic we got to get three total bases in one game from the new york yankees playing shortstop derek jeter i remember is the first time i had a chance to start the all-star game so you're excited about that. Randy Johnson. Line to the left. It'll drop for a hit. Down the line. Possible extra Yo, base. those Jeter rosters look crazy Jeter. for the... Get a few hits and score a run. Here's Jeter, who doubled his first time up. It's one through the middle, and Jeter's two for two. A line drive, and he's three for three. Yo, he went off. Jeter has knocked in two and scored the other. You got to come up the right time. I had zero idea that no Yankee had ever won All-Star Game MVP. It's mind-boggling to me to think all the great players that have played Yankee uniform. You've had a great career, and this is just another great moment. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate That's it. kind of a cool-looking trophy. A long history there, so you had to be the first to do anything in Yankee uniform. It's tough to do. It's a shortstop position in the American League. You never know if you're going to get a chance to come to an All-Star Game, let alone start one. So now I'm just thankful I got an opportunity to play. And look, look at who he's getting hits off of, too. Yo, don't tell me I'm going to have to face Randy Johnson, though. Please, I don't want to be doing that. Tally three total bases in one game. The first pitcher we're facing, yeah, it looks like it's going to be Randy Johnson. And look at this. The first three pitches, he's scared to face me. All three of them way out of the zone. I need total bases. I don't need walks. Yo, there's nothing even close. How am I supposed to get three total bases with nothing to hit? Hard hit. It I get two bases here. One yes, I do. Hit. Send him home. Just send him home. 
All right, so we got two of the three that we need, right? And please, there we go. I'm glad that the shortstop was not playing a little bit more to his left, my right. And I like the look of these jerseys. You know, I, they're not that. I mean, I, I like that they have those jerseys in the game is what I'm saying. All-star MVP, tally through total bases. We got that. Episode 18 unlocked. Next stop, rapid relay. Are we already back in the postseason? We're flying through this. We're already back in the World Series. New York. Now the stage is set for the Subway Series between the Yankees and Mets. Oh yeah. That's crazy. The hype around the Subway Series in 2000 was second to none. I oh, think I bet. New York was the center of the baseball world. We had heard so much about how good the Mets were. Mike Pizza. Pizza. They were close the year before. And then everywhere you went in New York, that's all people talked about. You'd run into Mets fans telling us how bad we were. <laughs> Yankee fans, don't blow it. If there's any series that you can't lose, it's one against the Mets. We were the talk of the town. She only the left field well hit. You hear athletes say all the time, game speeds up, it slows down. It slows down when you're prepared. Track one off the top of the wall. So I knew how fast he was. I saw he wasn't really running that hard because I think he thought it was going to be a home run as well. Oh, in my mind, I've definitely seen this before. Justice could give me the ball as soon as possible. We have a chance to get him at the plate. I feel like when Jeter retired, they did a huge thing on MLB Network, like his best career moments or something. So do we have another fielding moment now? You talk about the jump throw. That was a relay throw where I was on the move. I didn't stop. Right on the money and Yeah, he, he's trying to say, no, that's a homer. <laughs> I think that was a big moment in the series because, you know, they were feeling themselves at the time. <laughs> Am I going to have to press more buttons? Cord, one assist, rapid relay. And let's see exactly what happens. I wonder if it's going to go exactly off the top of the wall. Like, I would assume they got that programmed into the game here. We'll have to wait and see. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Yep, off the top of the wall. Wait, X, X, Y, B, A. Oh, we got it. We pressed the buttons like nobody's business right there. Rapid relay, record one assist. I'm glad that, like, I'm used to a controller. Or else I'm gonna, I would have to be, like, staring at it, pressing these. Next stop, lead off, lift off. It looks like we might have to hit a home run. That's kind of what it's sounding like. Shea Stadium, World Series, game four. I see the apple out there. Tally two hits with Derek Jeter. The crowd is waving their towels. Oh. Whoa, talk about lead off, lift off right there. Smoked that one with my 58 power. Now we just need one more base hit. And there it goes. Talk about lead off, lift off. 6 nothing Mets. It's 6-1 Mets now. Lead off, lift off. We got the two hits. 50 more stubs. 150 XP. We unlocked episode 20. Our next stop is back to back to back champs. Okay, so yeah, it was 98-99, 2000. I was just a little bit premature into the lead earlier in this video. As both clubs have struggled to get their leadoff men on base in this series. Where I hit in the lineup didn't change my approach at all. Whether I hit first, second, third, every single at bat in my career, I looked fastball right down the middle. I just wasn't good enough to guess. When I was leading off, he threw a first pitch fastball and I was able to hit it out. That's how I play MLB The Show. The I looked fastball down the middle, I just react everything else, or I tried to. I did that. I hit a homer. There was more outside pressure for us to win that series than there was any other World Series because in New York, it almost felt as though the city was up for grabs. Could you imagine winning three World Series in a row? Like, that's crazy. Will we ever see that again? I gotta think no. Ooh. Ouch. That almost looked like it went off his elbow, bro. The sticky outy part of the elbow. Win that World Series would have been, would have been in a lot of trouble. That's crazy. 
I get chills watching him play on baseball, man. I love it. I don't know if I can describe what it feels like to be on top of the sports world in New York. When we are playing, it's like we were performing on a Broadway stage. And everyone came to see us because we were winning and we were successful. We had a run there where there was a lot of celebrating. Seems like it, man. That's crazy. Completed. Reward incoming. And I think I think we still might have some extra moments, even if we're at the end of this stop. Yeah, so back to back to back champs. We got that done. But if we want the Jorge Posada, there's a couple more moments to do. So first one, hip hip Jorge. In 2000, Jorge Posada earns first of five All-Star Game selections in his career. We got to get four total bases and one RBI. I love Jorge Posada. <laughs> Wait. Was my closest teammate. I was with him Why were they blurring out that dude's like face and, and jersey years and stuff? We played together in New York. Came up in the minor leagues together. Posada with his first home run. My oldest daughter and him share a birthday. Him and his wife are godparents to my oldest. Jorge's closest teammate that I've had. You play with teammates like Andy Pettit, Jorge Posada, Mariano Rivera for so long. It's like you already know what each other are thinking. You know, you don't even have to say certain things because you didn't have to worry about those guys being prepared. Posada swings away and hits it deep. You didn't have to worry about them being overwhelmed by any situation. You didn't have to worry about what their number one priority was. You didn't have to convince them that it was important. Chemistry must have been These insane. These are guys that, you know, be brothers for life. We got a tally four total bases, one RBI here in this game. I'm guessing the first AB we have somebody on base. Okay, yeah, we got someone on third base. Two outs. I really want to try to get a hit here. I would love to just get a homer, get it done, but at least try to drive him in and get that RBI out of the way right away. And that's going to be a homer. So we didn't get it done. We didn't do anything in the first at bat with somebody on base. But here, I think my third at bat, we just hit a homer and we get that Jorge Posada moment done. Hip hip Jorge, tally four total bases. We got some stuff, some XP. And we unlock the second. I think this is the final moment. Jorge leads the way. Let's see what we have to do for this one. So this next moment, we need two hits. And we also need an extra base hit. So I'm going to just try to hopefully knock the extra base hit out as early as we can. Oh, okay. That should be the extra base hit. I would assume they're going to send the runner. Yeah, perfect. So we got the extra base hit out of the way. And now for the rest of this, we just need to get one hit. And we got this moment done too. Maybe? Yeah, there it is. It drops down. Okay, so two at-bats, and we got the two hits. We got the extra base hit, and I think we unlocked that Jorge Posada card. Completed. Reward incoming, and let's see where we're at now. That might be all that there is to do. We got this Jorge Posada card just then, it looks like. I think we do have some packs that I might need to go towards. And it looks like the rest of the Derek Jeter stuff is coming soon. If we take a look at the zoomed out map, we can kind of see that's kind of right below the camera a little bit. That's where we ended off. And it looks like we're going to be going through the rest of his career whenever they release the rest of those moments. And I should be hopefully making that into a video too. We're at 4 out of 4 for 95, 5 out of 5 for 96, and 4 out of 4 for 98. I'm having to look for it on the screen. 3 out of 3, 99. And then 4 out of 4 for 2,000. 5 out of 5 years completed for what there is so far. And coming soon is going to be the rest of Derek Jeter's storyline here in MLB 24. And we talked about this kind of when we saw it. But you do get the kingdom through the Derek Jeter's storyline. We got this 81 overall Derek Jeter. We got the kingdom. Next up, it looks like Paul O'Neill as well as the classic Yankee Stadium. Uh, I want to auto flip the card. There we go. So we got Paul O'Neill, 85 overall. We got that classic Yankee Stadium, the 76 through 08 one. So there's one of the diamonds from Jeter's storyline. And we also have this Chili Davis card, another storylines pack, as well as these Jordan Nike cleats. Love to see that right there. Might put those on my road to the show player. And we also have this uniforms pack. I'm guessing it's some Yankees uniforms. No, okay. 
It's the All-Star jerseys from the 2000 All-Star game, the American League and the National League ones. And that's it for the first part of Derek Jeter's storyline. I'm really curious to see what y'all thought of it, if you played it or if you just watched the video. I really enjoyed this. It took about an hour and a half. It wasn't that long. The production value was really good. I learned about some things that maybe I didn't know before, and I really did enjoy that. You can tell they spent a lot of time and effort on Jeter's storyline. And that was fun for me to play through. I'm looking forward to when they drop the rest of his career. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see y'all next time.